Hi guys, Mr P here and in this video I just want to explain to you parents how we are going to try and use the tool Seesaw to support learning at home. Um, now Seesaw is a tool we've been using for a number of years and it's been a great way in which we can share what's happening in our classroom with you as parents. Now you should have downloaded the Seesaw family app on your phones, devices, um, but what we're going to be doing is asking you to download the main Seesaw app, the one that we usually use in schools, because we are going to enable the home learning option. So I'm going to do a quick, very, very quick tutorial of what to do, how to download it, and some of the activities, some of the um, ways in which we're going to use it as a staff to try and support learning at home as much as possible. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Okay, so if we just search for Seesaw on the App Store, now if you do not have an iPad, this is available on any other tablet and there is all, it's also available on the web. So the children can do this on um, a computer. Now, really, really important, um, you will have probably already downloaded the parent and family app. Um, that is for parent access. This is slightly different. For the home learning tool, we're going to need to download the learning journal. Seesaw the learning journal there. It should be the first one that comes up. Now, when that is downloaded, it's absolutely free. You are going to tap open and then you're going to get these two options. So for your child to log in, all we need to do is tap I'm a student. So if you tap I'm a student, you may need to enable your camera. And then if your children have brought home their letter that has their um, home learning code on. So if we just look here, uh, this is just from my training class. So Chewy's home learning code. It does give you the text code as well, but you've got the QR code. So when we look, scan that, you can then see that we are logged in. And the children should only be able to see their work. So on the right hand side, um, you're only seeing your child's na name there and then there is a folder with all the different items. So the children are able to see their work in case the teacher has uh, replied or whatever it might be. Um, and so the, ch the teacher may well create a few activities in here or share some work, uh, maybe share some text that the children can read or an activity that they can have a go at. Um, but if the children want to share something that they've done at home with the teacher, they can press the plus button and then they've got these options here. So they can go on photo and take a photo of some writing that they've done or some maths work that they've done on a paper or maybe they've built something. Or if they do some sort of science investigation at home, they can video that taking place. Um, if they've created something on their devices, maybe a Chatterpix video, they can load that picture from the camera roll and save it to their profiles there. They've also got notes, so if they do want to do a bit of storytelling or write something, they can do uh, with note. And the links, probably won't need to worry about that, but if there is a website that they want to share. So if I do go on photo, all I've got to do now is take a picture of the work that I have uh, done. And then that will save as a picture um, here. Now, if I want to, on the left-hand side, I've got the text option to add a label if I so wish, but we'll come back onto this a little bit later. If we're happy with the picture that we've taken, we press the tick button, we choose the correct folder, which subject it links to, and then that will be uploaded. Now the teacher will have to approve that before it appears in the children's folders. So you see here it's saying waiting for teacher approval. The teacher has the last say with everything. Um, as the responsible adult, they will be the ones who uh, deem everything appropriate and make sure everything's been done to the children's best ability. We are using this tool Seesaw not only as a way of evidence in learning, but as a way of teaching children how the internet works. So we are constantly reinforcing to our pupils that anything that goes on Seesaw is there forever. Um, in the same way that when they're older and they post something on a social media platform, it will be there for us. So we're always talking about how to do that safely, how to be responsible, how this is part of their digital footprint. So Seesaw is an absolutely brilliant tool for that. If I do refresh my feed here, oh no, it does appear normally that, that would go missing. So there, there's, there's one option, but let's have a look if the teacher has set some work. So let's say the teacher had set a work there, a piece of work there that the children have to finish off with. So all the children need to do to carry on with this activity here is press the three dots underneath the picture 
go on copy and edit and that will give them access to the drawing tools so what the children will need to do now is press the camera and go around the the house and just take pictures of anything that provides a light source like the computer screen and then we can put that somewhere else on the picture we can use the text label button to go on computer screen um, and again we've got the colors at the bottom here or the right hand side and the pen button to label it like so and so the children can complete tasks as well there is also the microphone button that will allow the children to talk over um, the piece of work as well so if your child does struggle to type uh, they have the option to either dictate so uh, obviously we would encourage them to type as much as possible but if that is um, a struggle they can dictate or they can actually use the microphone and record over the top of the picture to create their own video so there's lots of creative tools a lot of creative ways in which we can use seesaw to demonstrate our learning and so if the teachers do share some activities, uh, there will be uh, plenty of ways in which the children can um, complete the work set. There may well be some activities that the teacher creates as well here. So just be aware of that. So teachers are able to actually create more specific instructions through these activities and the children can then add their own response if they so wish. Um, so do be aware of that as well. We are going to try and use this um, as, as much as we can to keep our learning continuing and we would just love uh, as much support and help with this as possible.